time out with him. Oh. Hello, welcome to Time Out with Timo. I'm your host, Tim Owens. As always, very grateful and happy to be here today. I want to talk about two people today. This has been on my mind for a little while now, but I never get around to talking about it. I want to talk about Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp. Now, I know these guys are popular celebrity sports commentators, but I don't have nothing against either one of them. I got to say, I do like Stephen A. Smith more than I care for Shannon Sharp. That's because I'm a Michael Jordan fan, and Shannon Sharp, he seemed to have a huge problem with Michael Jordan. But that's neither here nor there what I want to talk about today. I think that in the black media space, there are a lot of men who have access and their gatekeepers per se that can help a lot of other uh, black men into the business, right? And let me start with Stephen A. Smith. Right. Very popular guy. We all know this. I mean, I like Stephen A. Even back when he had this show, quite frankly, on ESPN years ago, I think it was probably 03, 04, 05, somewhere around there. I used to watch the show. I was working for an electronics company at the time, and um, I used to watch the show all the time. I remember him having Alan Iverson on there and stuff. So, And that's back when ESPN let him go. Then he was able to come back to ESPN. And I like the story that he told about his, his being humbled and how he realize that he can go at any moment, but he got a second chance, right? I'm with all of that. But the problem I have right now with what Stephen A. Smith is doing is YouTube stuff. Now, before you guys think I'm hating, let me let me break it down, okay? So reportedly, Stephen A. Smith was offered $18 million by ESPN to remain on the network, right? Now, that's what it was reported. Now, if I got the story correct, I tried to research a little bit more. I really wasn't able to find anything concrete for what I want to use this video. But I believe he may have turned down the 18 million to get more money or he took the 18. I can't, I couldn't, I wasn't able to really tell which one is what. But from what I gathered, I believe he he makes more than that, 20 to 25 million a year from ESPN, one of the highest paid people there, right? That's all good, man. Stephen A. Smith been around a long time. He's been doing this, right? I get it. You know, money deserved. But why are you on YouTube, though? Why are you on the YouTube space not helping other people grow in the YouTube space but getting more money from YouTube as well? How much more money do you need? I mean, are, are you bringing on college athletes? Are you bringing on future sports journalists? Are you talking to them? Are you showing them the ropes? Are you giving them the game? on how to get where you are. See, I think that these guys get a pass on not helping anybody or not bringing out the, the blueprint for young other black men to see. Now, this isn't a race thing by no means. I'm only using, you know, talking about black people because uh, he's a black man and Shannon Sharp is a black man as well. That's the only reason why I'm saying it. Anybody know me? No, I don't draw the you know the race color lines, nothing like that. I'm just using these guys because that's their their target audience is black males. I mean, 100 percent even though everyone watched them, but that's their target audience. What I'm saying is you have a YouTube channel using profanity, being a professional a lot of ways, gossiping and that type of stuff. Like, come on, bro. You 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 know, you you're supposed to be bigger than that and better than that. All the young men watching you from eighth grade to high school to college, you don't hear cursing and threatening people in subtle ways, different things. Come on, man. You, you, you're better than that. You, you're on ESPN. You're known all over the world. And I get it. Yeah, freedom of speech and whatnot. But I'm just saying that you're, you're setting a bad tone on YouTube, man. That's all I'm saying. I mean. That's it. And why come into that space when you don't have to, man? You, you're on ESPN every day. Like, you're on ESPN every day. You're on radio shows. You're doing commentary. And I give Stephen A. a lot of a lot of credit and props because he is crossing over. He is doing things on Fox News. You know, he's being he commentating different things like that. He is branching out. I give him that. You know, he co-hosted Jimmy, uh, 
guest hosted Jimmy Kimmel live and the whole deal. And I'm with it, man. I mean, I'm for that. But I don't like how he's in the YouTube space. And I think that, you know, it's a lane he really shouldn't be in right now. Now, let's jump over to Shannon Sharp, right? Now, reportedly, Shannon Sharp was making three three million a year from uh, FS1. Now, that's not counting other things that they make money from and all that, right? That's back when Shannon Sharp was on the show with Skip Bayless, right? So he leaves Fox. He goes over to ESPN. Um, they obviously fattened the pot, gave him a bigger deal to go over there, right? So now he's with Stephen A. Smith on the air and whatnot. That's perfectly fine. Now, the thing with Shannon is he has this his podcast, uh, Club Shay Shay. When I tell you, it's like Wendy Williams' show on steroids. Wendy Williams, now, let me show you guys how much love I have for media people, like people that do their job. Number one, Barbara Walters is the queen, but hands down, one of the best of the best to ever do the interview game, one of the best. Oprah's coming in there at, at a number two. Now, if you want to go back further than that, you got to put, you know, Dick Cavett in there. He was a great host. He talked to everybody from Jimi Hendrix, from the Beatles. I mean, a straight monster in the in the media space, right? But um, I think that Wendy Williams, when it came to gossip and trash and all that nonsense, Wendy was the queen. Her producers, they fed the monster. She was the queen of that, right? So I'm not saying I was a fan of the things that she did. But I can respect someone that's a, that, that was a master at their craft. I mean, she was the best at that. Nobody done it better than her. But Shannon Sharp, I mean, come on. And you're, you know, Hall of Fame football player. You're bringing people on this show. You're gossiping. You're talking about folks. You have people being very unprofessional on your show as well. Now, I'm not saying that a show can't be entertaining and fun. But you don't have to be, you don't have to gossip and talk about people and have people come on there and just act completely inappropriate. And you're not helping anyone neither. What blueprint are you laying out for people as well, man? You're not helping anybody. You're not giving anybody any opportunities. You're not giving them the game. You let them come on your show and gossip and talk about other black people, especially. That's another one. Like, if you look around, right, from any other other shows that have been on, even The View, stuff like that, um, Geraldo Rivera, any of those shows, right? Any other popular show. I know I'm naming some old shows, whatever. I'm just saying, though, just in general. There's no other host you don't see. Better yet, let's say Troy Aikman, Eli Manning, Peyton Manning. You don't see any of those guys hosting the show where they're bringing on people from their community, gossiping with them, telling business and and just talking, you know, off the wall about each other and just saying all this stuff, man. They're, they're, they're not doing that. They're not bringing their people on the platform with millions of eyes watching, gossiping and trash talking and not spreading anything. Now, can you host a show and it be fun and informative without all that foolishness? 100%. But he's another one. If you're making, if you made three million from Fox and you made more than that, I think somewhere at six million plus for ESPN, why are you in the YouTube space? Like, why are you on YouTube in the YouTube space? I get it, more freedom to say what you want to say, or whatever. But why come over and take money and viewers from other people, other sports commentators that's in that business in that lane? Since you've already has the you already have the guaranteed money from ESPN, why don't you use your celebrity? He should use his his platform to help other young black man journalists get into the space instead of celebrity gossiping. Like why it doesn't make sense. Why would Shannon Sharp want to spend his time gossiping on the internet and, and stirring up nonsense? But anyhow. I just feel like people are being duped by the both of these guys. They getting over, they fat, uh, that they, they they pay fat. They have their bag, as they say, and they just not uh, they're not helping, man. They're not doing any service to the community by being on YouTube, 
Stephen A. cursing, yelling, acting a fool, saying inappropriate things. Shannon Sharp bringing other black entertainers on to talk about other people and the gossip and steer the pot. It's just a bad look, gentlemen. It's just a bad look. And like you say, you know, who am I? I'm nowhere near in the space of either one of these guys. But I do know the stuff that is trash and inappropriate content when I see it. That don't change that fact. But anyhow, you know, hey, I I respect what they do as far as the professional side of the game, but the other stuff, not so much. As always, if you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content. As always, thank you for watching. And happy people do not cause problems. Peace. If everybody winning, who's losing? Who's losing? I'm trying to make it make sense. It's like it's so confused. So I see the pain in your eyes from all the lonely nights. I swear I know how I feel. It just don't feel right.